welcome Drew and get it done. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video or <laughs> else I will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> So me and Ava are in our Christmas jammies because they're awesome. I got a onesie. And on today's edition of Real Men Get It Done, as Ava mentioned, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, help us boost our videos. Help us uh, just get good followers. So um, just help us grow our channel. Uh, but we are doing cooking with dad and cooking with Ava. Ava loves canes, right Ava? Yes. So she had the idea of us doing canes at home. So we're gonna do it. Ava and I are gonna cook it and we got a good recipe offline. So stay tuned, because at the end of this video, we're not only going to uh, show you what we're gonna do, time lapse it, make it awesome, but we're gonna have the presentation plated and looking beautiful, right Ava? Yep. At the very end, so we can have dinner for tonight. Mm. All right, so we will link of the recipe that we got in the description. Um, but in short, these are the ingredients that we need for our cane sauce. It requires us to have a cup of mayonnaise, um, or some ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, some fresh ground pepper, and some lemon. That's gonna end up being our wonderful cane sauce. And when it comes to the cane's uh, chicken, um, it, this is a mixture that we already prepped two to four hours. Uh, we made our own homemade buttermilk using vinegar and milk and then also uh, egg yolks. So that is the mixture that's right here we're gonna use for frying. In short, it's a simple ingredient for the actual chicken. It's just uh, putting flour and uh, breadcrumbs together and then actually coating it a second time. So we're gonna fry that on the stove. We have our pan for frying, our splatter guard. We also have the, the pan we're gonna put our chicken in so that you can catch some of the grease. And then we're gonna do crinkle cut fries uh, just in the oven to balance out a little bit of us frying so much. So everything's not gonna be fried. We'll do the uh, fries via the oven. But these are all of our essential ingredients for the cane sauce and the chicken. And Ava will help me cut the chicken up. We're gonna bag it, fry it, and get the fries done and make our cane sauce and have a wonderful dinner. You ready, Ava? Yes, Christmas, baby. All right, let's get it.
So Ava's doing an awesome job thus far. We're rounding off the uh, completion of our meal. The one thing I will say in terms of cooking, um, please, if you're not uh, versed with uh, cooking, uh, frying, I should say, definitely this is a lifesaver having the, the fry splash guard um, on your meals. Sorry, um, I'm gonna try to position this. I don't know if I can position it better. But here we go. So um, the, the fry splash guard helps so you don't get everything so messy. And use a thermometer. Technically, this should probably cook for three or four minutes on each side, but you wanna cook until it's done. So thermometers usually, usually will say that chicken is done at about 165 degrees. So if you are doing this at home, make sure um, you just splash guard and check your thermometer as you uh, uh, cook the chicken on one side, then flip it on the other side uh, when it's uh, totally done just to make sure that you're good. So we are uh, almost done uh, and, and Ava is doing an awesome job finishing battering the second batch of chicken. All right, here's our finished product. Ava did an awesome job. How do you think it went, Shiv? Okay, we have our homemade cane sauce, which came out really well. Um, we have our baked fries, and we have salad. So everybody can, everybody does their salad differently. So some people like cheese, some people don't. 
some people like ranch, some people don't. So all the kids will come in and make their salads. But um, I think it came out really, really well. Did you have a good time, Shoot? Was it fun making it? Yeah, it was fun. All right, finish getting everybody their forks. And I know you're going to put up some cheese. And we'll be good to go. So another episode of Cooking with Dad, Ava edition. Because Ava was the chef this go around. And she did an awesome job. Really, Ava. She's a known her hoverboard. Anything you want to say to everybody as you're done with your meal for tonight? All right, y'all. Till next time, real men get a gun. Cooking with dad and, and Ava. Peace.